Hi, I am Ajish Babu. Today we are going to start a new video series, Unity Programming using C Sharp. In this video series, we are going to learn how to create an application or game using the C Sharp language. So C Sharp is the main language, is the language which is used in uh, Unity to create applications or the uh, games. So before starting to write the C Sharp programs, we will first learn about the interface of the uh, Unity. So this is uh, very important to learn how the basic interface elements of Unity and uh, the other uh, components in Unity before we start writing the programs. So uh, today we are going to start some of the main windows that is available in Unity. So you can see in this uh, screen, so I have opened a new project and when you open this new project, you can see a lot of windows that is open. I have this uh, project. Uh, window then we have the console window then we have the hierarchy window then scene and game window and we I have also have animator window which uh, uh, may be uh, there when you open a new project but it uh, may not be there okay so I have used uh, animator in my the other project so that is why it is open then we have the inspector window, then services window, then other collaborate window. The main windows which uh, we are going to work when we develop a application or games are this project window, then console window, hierarchy window, then scene, game and inspector. So we will uh, see one by one what is the significance or the purpose of each window. So first we will start with the project window. So the project window is uh, the window where you can find all the elements that we are going to use in the project. Uh, when you open a new project, you can uh, see that I already have a folder called assets. And inside that assets, I have another folder called scenes. And inside the scene, I have already have one scene that is the sample scene. So by default, you will get uh, these folders and the assets folder. Then uh, inside that we have the scenes folder. And we also have the packages uh, folder where you will get the all the packages which uh, you can use while developing the uh, game. Then uh, that we will discuss about that uh, in, in detail in the uh, later videos. Uh, all the elements which we are going to uh, use while developing your application or game, we can store everything in the assets folder. Okay. So in the assets folder, Right now we have the scenes folder and if you want to create any other folders also you can create it by selecting the assets folder and right click here and go to create folder. Okay, In this folder I am going to create a folder called scripts. Okay, so I have created a, a new folder called scripts and I can create, I can store all my uh, scripts, uh, C-sharp uh, files inside this folder. And if you want to create another folder for um, storing all your images, then you can go for this folder name as images. Okay, so in this way, you can create the separate folders which you are going to use in that application development. 
And one more the important thing is that whatever uh, the assets which you are going to store inside this assets folder, it is not necessary that you have to use that in the future. If uh, you are, uh, it is uh, you may uh, download a lot of images, but you it is not necessary that you will be using all those images uh, when you develop a game. Okay, so you this is uh, where you are going to place all the uh, assets which you are going which you think you are going to use in the uh, game. Okay, so but it is not necessary that you should use all these assets. And uh, so I hope you understood what is the uh, purpose of project window. Then we will go to the hierarchy window. So this hierarchy window is where you are going to see the elements which you are using in that game or application. Okay, so when you select the hierarchy, you can see that I already have two uh, assets that is already available. That is the one is the main camera and the other one is the directional light. Okay, so we have uh, two assets already there. Okay, so uh, the main camera is used. Uh, that is through that camera we uh, see the world which uh, is we uh, see when uh, you play a game, when uh, you play a game or when uh, you see an uh, application, whatever you see that is through the eyes of the main camera. So main the camera is very important factor uh, or the component without which we cannot create an application. Okay. And we will talk more about uh, the hierarchy window uh, in later stages and the next important window is the scene okay so this is the scene window where you are going to work for this application so here you can see that i have i have the main camera this is my camera here and here you can see this is the camera and this is the preview of the camera so whatever the we that is visible here that is what we are going to get when you publish this application okay so whatever work you do while developing this uh, application so that we do using the scene window okay and the next window is the game window the game window is for showing the output okay so this is the uh, scene which you when if i publish it this way this is the uh, the only thing which you are going to see in that application okay so uh, scene is where we do all the work and game is which will show you how the game is going to look like when you publish that okay so uh, by using the scene window and game window, you can uh, develop your application um, and uh, see how it is going to look like when you publish that. And uh, the next main window that we are going to see is the inspector window. Inspector window is where you can see all the properties of the objects you select. If you are selecting a particular object and you want to see the details of that particular object, then you can use the inspector window. So here you can see that I have selected the main camera. So when I selected the main camera, I can see the components which is available for that camera. You can see that I have a camera component and I have the properties which is related to that particular camera. Then uh, I have the transform component where you can see the uh, current position of the camera and the current rotation of the camera and the current scale of the camera. Okay. Next uh, we, we are going to select the 
directional light okay so when i am selecting a directional light you can see that i have the properties of related to that particular light okay so i have the what type of light i have that is the directional light and what is the color of that light so you can see all the details of uh, this directional light when you uh, select that directional light and click on the inspector window okay so these are the uh, main windows which uh, we are going to use while developing the uh, application and one more important uh, very important window is the console window where you will get the messages from unity or this tool if you are making any mistake if there is any error in the uh, your code or in your script file if there is any error or any other messages warning that you will get in the console window so this is very helpful for you in the debugging stage or if you have made any mistake while writing the code that will be displayed in the console window so that is very useful while developing the application okay so i hope you got the idea of which are the main uh, windows of uh, unity so uh, now uh, what we are going to see is that i am going to create a small object here okay so first i will go to scene then after that to create a object so i am going to create a very uh, primitive object there so you can just select on this arrow button that is uh, this drop down we can see in the hierarchy window and just click on that and you will get a lot of uh, options here like uh, video ui audio so uh, i am just going to create a cube now so for that i can go to 3d object and here you can see the different types of uh, this 3d objects that is available for you so here i am going to create for example i am going to create a uh, cube okay so i am just going to create a cube there so when selecting this cube i can see i have a cube created here okay and if you use select on game then you can see i have a cube in the position 000 and if i publish this uh, project right now then i can see this cube in my application okay so uh, when you select this cube and go to c okay so uh, right now it is not very visible and if you want to focus on that particular object then you can double click on that okay so you can see that right now this uh, camera is focused on that cube okay so you can uh, just uh, move this and uh, you can rotate uh, using the alt key and mouse then you can see how it is uh, placed there okay and if you want to uh, rename this um, object then you can select that and go to the inspector window and just select here and go to give any other name that you want so i have given this name as box okay and if you want to create uh, one more object also you can directly go to this uh, add plus sign and go to 3d object and i am going to create a plane there okay so plane i have created a plane this is also placed on the 0 0 0 so that is why you can see that it is the cube is in the middle of the plane okay and uh, if you want to rename this plane also you can select that and go to uh, this property inspector and you can just give that as ground okay so i have a ground and i have a box here. and if you want to place this box on top of this ground you can just select the box and you can just uh, using this arrow, uh, arrows 
we can just move this in the y direction, x direction or in the z direction. Okay. Otherwise, you can just change the values in the inspector also. Okay, so you can uh, move this using the property inspector. Okay, so um, one of the um, uh, main advantages of uh, Unity is that you are for doing the same thing, you can uh, have the uh, multiple options. Okay, so here you can see that I am changing using this axis also and you can change this using the uh, inspector also. If you want to uh, change the rotation also, you can change the rotation in the transform window. Okay. So here I have placed a box on top of the ground. Okay. So I have placed it like this and if I select this game, you can see that I will uh, get the output like this. I have a ground and I have a box placed on top of that ground. So uh, this is how, this is just a basic idea of uh, how uh, we are going to use the, the unity to create the applications or games okay so how these windows are uh, used to uh, create this application and there are a lot of things uh, uh, there but uh, i will not be spending too much time on explaining each and everything because our main uh, purpose is to learn these c sharp programming to develop the applications in unity so I hope you understood today's class. Then I will see you in the next class. Thank you so much.